Today you have to download the pre-season 1 Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War patch and the patch notes are huge. Let's jump right into the video how you can make profit out of it. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, Ivan the German is back for you guys and today we take a look about the prepare for season 1 patch in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and especially how you can make profit out of it in terms on how you can make progress and get better in several terms. Of course major updates, major major updates we have been waiting for a long time and let's start with the big major changes the assault pack will be destroyed if an enemy uses it so no longer benefits for your enemy and benefits for you guys and the field mic will not or no longer give you double xp if two field mics are overlapping so guys i'm already here let's see another video okay Okay, stop, hold on for a second. This update is a quality of life update. They gave us a lot of stability improvements and that means you can play, for example, zombie a little bit longer. And the big question is, and that maybe you can type it into the comments below, do you level with the zombie mode? And is the zombie mode efficient for you? Do you like it? How do you like it? And what are your benefits or cons from the zombie mode? Type it in the comments below. It would be nice to hear it. And they added a lot, a lot of those crash fixes. No matter if you're spectating during a round based game mode or ray tracing fixes, all of that stuff. So guys, I know you, you are not here for the crash fixes. You are here for your benefits and for your progress and your progress will like this update because from this Saturday, December 12th to the start of the season one, we will have double XP in multiplayer and zombies. Double XP for weapon, double XP for your progress, and you should combine that with the Motherland Mosh Pit. Motherland Mosh Pit, it's a playlist with specific weapons like Moscow and Crossroads Strike combined with interesting game modes. And why is this so nice? Because the Moscow, in my opinion, is the best map currently till season one when we get raid back and a lot of nice maps and even crossroads is a very intense map it's very close quarter and all that stuff you can level your smg progress you can make point blank kills and all of that stuff to get your camos that's why this playlist with the double xp event is pretty nice for your progress and you should start playing and if you're a big fan of nuketown you can also do nice point blank kills right there we will still have the 24 7 nuketown playlist and they will give us stuff for free which is quite nice because i love park if you do not know how to unlock park quite easily if you do not done that till now watch my video about the easy unlock for park and if you log in between today and the start of season one you will get operator skins for park i love that skin it's a kind of tomb raiderish skin for park SMG blueprint, radical calling card, weapon charms, nice, 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 good stuff, good stuff, guys. And for Garcia, you will get him out of like being a drug addict kind of operator to a pretty okayish looking operator with the new skin. So you pick up, so you should pick up that skin. And maybe, maybe you missed the season one trailer and the reveal of the season one updates. We saw two new weapons. The first one is the striker. We saw that with the new operator in the trailer. The striker is a shotgun. It looks very badass. We had the striker in the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and 3. Pretty badass shotgun. I don't like shotguns in the game. So it's a bad opinion and a bad option for me personally. But it brought the Groza back into the game. We saw the Groza in a picture for the season one features and updates so we can enjoy two new weapons for the multiplayer and for the zombie mode. If you like what you see, do not forget to like because you can show the world we Germans can at least win something. And if it's you like, it would be amazing to show that to the world out there. And that's for today. Quick short video about the update. And if you like the update and if you like the pre-season one or the season one, especially the maps, leave a comment into the comment section below. And I see you guys in the next video.